Hey guys, we're here again at Hard Racing doing our 2015 Yamaha R3 project bike. Today we're going to be doing this really, really nice stainless steel Works USA slip on. And if many of you probably already know, Works is just an absolute piece of art. The welds on it are just phenomenal. The quality, the fit, the finish. All made here in the USA. Very, very lightweight. Good fit, good finish, good sound. It is a straight through baffle. They do have inserts that you can put in these if you want it a little bit quieter. And the beauty of it though is it's a very quick and easy installation. And we'll show that to here today. You got the hardware here for the nice comes with a nice little aluminum uh, heat shield that goes underneath the exhaust or under the bike on the end of the exhaust cover over your cat. And we'll go over how quick and easy it is to install and light and weight, lighten up your bike a little bit, a little bit extra uh, sound, a little performance, but definitely a, a true work of art. Okay, so first thing you want to do is remove your stock muffler. So you're going to take an 11 millimeter socket and loosen the clamp on the back side of the muffler. Okay, and once you get that loose, you want to slide it off of the connecting tube. Okay, so next thing you want to do is remove your muffler hanger bolt and you do that using a 12 millimeter socket and wrench. Okay, I just weighed this real quick and it's six pounds even. And compared to the Works USA, this one's only 2.2 pounds which is about a third of the weight of the stock exhaust. Okay, so right now you have two options. You can install the Works exhaust and use your stock heat shield, or you can install the Works exhaust and use their heat shield. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock heat shield and replace it with the Works heat shield. And next, we're going to remove the bracket for the stock heat shield using an 8 millimeter socket. Okay, so once you remove the stock bracket, you're going to take the works bracket and install it with the stock bolts. Okay, and you want to take that bracket and just mount it right here, just like so, with the angled part coming out on the left, and mount it up with those stock bolts. Okay, so next step is we're going to install the canister, and we do that by taking the exhaust gasket, so the supplied exhaust gasket, sliding it onto the connecting tube, and then take your clamp, slide that onto the canister, and then slide the can onto the link pipe. Okay, so once you've gotten your canister on, before you tighten down your clamp, you want to go ahead and take your stock bolt and nut and install that. Okay. 
So once you've gotten that tightened down, go ahead and give it a little wiggle. And then the next step is going to be to tighten down the clamp. So the next step we're going to do is to install the included heat shield using the supplied bolts. And here's what it looks like installed on the bike. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fire it up with the canister installed.